just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags pretty fine, bitches. Look at me, I'm a geek. Tripping future waves, I will be copying you all. Small legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. Today we're doing another action figure review. Today we're looking at my custom Marvel Legends. Mr. Sinister figure. I don't know. I just came. It just hit me one day. We need an updated Mr. Sinister. The Toy Biz figure was nice. For it's time. But if you really think about it. He's too tall. He's oddly shaped. You definitely needed a redo. So for this figure I made. He used a Strife body. All Strife. The lower legs are from a Toy Biz saber tooth. The head is from a Toy Biz. Dot Mr. Sinister, of course. The uh, cape is from a DCUC Hawk figure and is glued on to the strife shoulder pads and chest pad with the Toy Biz Mr. Sinister hood. The figure is not completely done. I still have to make the diamond for the chest, which I'm going to do separate. And, I st and I'm looking for another Mr. Sinister figure or the, just the cape. Because I want to add the cape to the back of the armor. I want to add it right here so it could drape down. Once that happens, he'll be 100% complete. But I'm really happy with the way it came out. I added this belt from Bulldozer to give it some definition. I painted the, the, the thing red. I wanted to make it look different. The Toy Biz figure, I don't think it was red. I think it was blue. Might have been red, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. And I went with the the Marvel Universe scheme of, um, they actually used black, but I went navy blue, and I went metallic blue. So I, I, feel, like, I feel like I got a good thing here. This thing came out really nice. That Strife, that strife body, is, it works wonders for a lot of characters. You see my custom Silver Samurai and all that. Really happy with the way it turned out. Can't wait to get the cape part so I can finish that up and make it look that much better. But for, for what it is right now at this point in time, it looks really sick, man. I repainted the face a ghost white. I love that ghost white, man. It comes out, like when it dries, it comes out like white with a, a hint of light blue. And it looks perfect for a lot of figures. I used it on my Mystique. I used it on this one. I use I use it on almost all my figures. I I barely use plain white. It's always a different kind of white. I use like, like for the Black Spider-Man again. I use the pearl white and stuff like that. Um, the articulation is intact. He's fully ready to be played with. His head goes up, down, side to side. I gotta fix the head. It, it doesn't fit on the ball joint that too tight, so it pops off easily. He got ball in his shoulders, bicep suit, double jointed elbows. He has a wrist swivel and his hands so it goes forward and back. He got the ab crunch, waist swivel, his legs go out that much, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, calf swivel, and his ankle pivots forward and back, and he has tall articulation. And he definitely need he needs he's gonna need another coat of paint beforehand. But this is how he looks, man. I really like the way he came out. I'm really happy with him. He looks good. All I gotta do now is a nice custom apocalypse. But I'm trying to hold out because I'm thinking we're going to get an apocalypse from that X-Men wave we're supposed to be getting soon. Hopefully Toy Fair reveals something. So that's the review on this guy. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page, follow my Instagram and Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this custom. You already know. It's your boy that was doing.